What's going on, guys? This is Mark West again, back at you. So, analyzing and interpreting literature. Person who texts me, this is for you. All right. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, oh shoot, I'm using my phone. I was gonna read off a a. Uh, Matter of fact, I can still read it off. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, analyzing and interpreting literature. Nothing to be worried about. All right. Nothing at all to be worried about. And I'll tell you why. First thing, this is what I'm going to tell you. If you're one of those people that that uh like fall asleep when you read you gonna have a hard time with this exam <laughs> because you are going to be doing a lot of reading and a lot of analyzing and a lot of interpreting literature all right that's literally what you're going to be doing uh, every question was a, a passage of some sort and um yeah, a lot of reading. Now, the good thing about this, if you are a good reader, then you know how to kind of find the meat, right? Or the, the main points in a passage. And I have found the best way to do that is to first read the question and read the answers. And then, then I, I for me at least, you have a better kind of Understanding what it is that you're looking for that way you're not reading because you gonna get some pretty long passages I mean like really long and I honestly I kind of think it's a I think it's like a trick to Help make you waste your time more because some of those joints is like long. I mean you got to scroll for some of them Listen, I would not recommend do that. I would recommend to read the question uh, see what the question is asking and then try and, you know, skim through it and find that. Um, the good thing about this exam is, like, every passage is going to give you, like, three or four questions. So, you know, if you are a good reader and you read fast and you retain the information well, you'll be able to, like, read through and then you can answer, like, four, uh, three or four questions based on that one particular passage. All right, so if you have a good understanding of what you're reading then you can probably easily knock out, you know, get some easy points. Now, if you're that, uh, my friend, uh, sorry, I forgot your name, Miss Carla. All right. Um, you recently texted me and you were basically telling me, this is pretty great. This is why I love doing this, right? So I'm not going to read this whole text, but Carla basically, um, she was feeling uh, some anxiety and she really needs to pass this exam basically because uh in order for her to, to walk in her graduation congratulations by the way um she's got to pass her exam right so carla like you have nothing to fear i'm telling you you have nothing to fear i think you're going to blow this exam out of the water i mean you, literally all you're doing is reading there's no tricks there's no i mean I don't even, I'm not even going to read the breakdown because it's literally just a bunch of reading, right? I mean, seriously. So I'm going to read this off to you. Hopefully this will make you feel uh, a, a little bit better about taking your exam. So um, analyzing and interpreting literature. Now, first of all, um, again, I'm, uh, the past race that I'm reading to you are from the Dante's website. So it's based off of military, but it's still a good guide to kind of give you an understanding of like, you know, who's passing what and whatnot. And um, this particular exam actually has a really high pass rate for the amount of people that took the exam. All right, it has a really high pass rate. Uh, so this is, I think, probably the most popular exam out of all of them, uh, from according to this these statistics. Over 10,000 people took this exam, and it has a pass rate of 57%, all right? So it's pretty damn good out of 10,000 people. Um, Carl, that should make you feel really good, okay? Because 
I think personally, the, the 4,000 people that didn't pass this exam probably started to fall asleep. You know, because it was just so much reading. I'm not even going to lie. I fell asleep a little bit. I had to slap myself a little bit, wake myself up. But that's literally what this exam is. I mean, if before you take it, maybe, um, because, again, I'm not the most, I'm not the most brainiac, book smart person. So maybe um, hop on YouTube. Well, you're already on YouTube. So stay on YouTube after you watch this and, like, Try and find one of those, um, you know, hack videos to where they kind of show you, like, tips for reading, you know, uh, long passages and things like that. I'm not a, I'm not a test expert, a test taking expert in terms of, like, you know, uh, the, the, the science behind it. Well, you know, like, I don't know. I know the basic stuff, like, read your context clues and, you know, read the question before you answer uh, stuff like that, but, you know, I don't know, you might be able to find, like, something, some really, really cool, um, like, just overall, like, test-taking strategies for when you're reading really long stuff, um, but honestly, and I'm just being 100% honest, this is somebody who, um, just recently took this exam, there's really no way you can, like, study for this exam, right, it's really kind of like a common sense, you just gotta know, you gotta know, what to look for, you got to know how to analyze, right? This is <laughs> really, you do. You just got to know how to analyze and interpret literature, you know, seriously. Um, I'm telling you, like, it, there's there's no hidden things. So, uh, quick about the exam. Again, another note. I think I mentioned it already, but um, literally every question is like a passage. Some are long, some are short. All right. Um, but you're going to be doing a lot of reading. And there is, I uh, wrote it down here. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. Should be a little bit more organized. So there's, um, and I think this probably might be another reason why uh, the, the, the pass rate is not higher. Is because this is actually one of the exams with a lower amount of questions. So there's actually, I mean, still a good amount, 78 questions, and um, a passing score is 50. So, you know, I mean, it's not too bad, right, out of 78. But again, I mean, it's 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 literally just reading and having an understanding of what you're reading. Um, for me, I, I get bored. Like, I'll read and I'll just, like, start to fall off course. So that's my problem. So... Hopefully you don't have the same problem that I have, because here's my ticket, by the way, you guys. Um, I should have showed you guys this first, so you know that I actually took it. Here's my here's my ticket. Um, wait, hold on, wait. Let me show you my ticket before I show you my score. All right, <laughs> here's my ticket. All right, for the exam. Uh, here's my ticket. Analyzing, interpreting the literature, and um, here's my score right here. Not my, this is like the worst score I've ever gotten on one of these exams. And uh, I'm going to be honest, like, after the 50th question, I just kind of, like, clicked through. Because I wanted to, like, make sure that I went, for, I was wondering if every question was, like, a passage. And so, I, at, after, like, question 50, I just kind of clicked through and I was like, okay, everything is a passage. I'm not about to read all of these, so... I kind of abacadabbed it at the end, <laughs> and I was on my lunch break, too, um, so I was kind of short on time. I definitely didn't have time to read through everything, but, um, yeah, so this is, like, definitely my worst score, 20 out of out of 50, but those, those 20 questions that I got right, I actually read through, and I actually answered the questions, all right, and, um, hey, I mean, you know, had I would have done, did that for 30 more questions, <laughs> I I think I would have passed this exam. But um, I wasn't taking it to pass. I was taking it to alleviate fear and um, make you guys feel more comfortable, more confident about it. Uh, so the biggest takeaway from this video is just know you're going to be doing a lot of reading. But you guys are really smart. You guys are really intelligent. And I know that you guys can analyze and interpret literature way better than I can. 
So you have nothing to fear. All right. Um, maybe read a book and just, you know, kind of get get your mind and your wheels turning, you know, get in the mind state of I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. I don't know. However you prepare to read a lot, just know. Drink coffee. There you go. And Red Bull. And you got it. You guys got it. All right. Um, like always, uh, I'm very accessible. So if you need um, me to answer any more questions, uh, like Miss Carla reached out. Thank you for that, too, by the way. Carla, I appreciate that. Um, uh, Hit me up. Shoot me a text. Um, shoot me a text or shoot me an email. Um. You can uh, get in touch with me at uh, clepguineapig.com or clepguineapig.groo.com um, for email and .groo for text. Simple as that. All right, guys. Take care. Till next time.